In this video, we're going to show you how to administer ear medications to your dog. So, ear infections are super common, particularly now that we're seeing lots of poodle crosses. Um, they've got hairy ear canals and it makes them more prone to ear infections. Um, so, we are dispensing a lot more ear medications and ear washes that need to be applied. And it can be quite tricky, particularly because dogs' ears are quite sensitive and also quite sore. Um, when they have these infections. Um, so dog ear canals are actually an L shape and as a result you can get the nozzles of the, the applicators quite a long way down the ear canals um, before you actually run into the eardrum, unlike a human ear canal which is quite short. So this is as we're going to see if we as will let me um, show you how to do the ear medications. So when you're applying ear meds, you best off applying them with your hand backwards, aiming towards their nose. So the ear canal runs in this general direction, so along the length of their nose and the length of their head, as well as going a little bit inwards. So you should never push the nozzle further than the dog is comfortable. Um, if your dog's got really sore ears, then obviously it's not going to go in as far. The idea is to get it as far as is comfortable for your dog. So when you've got your dog in, in position, as I said, coming back across to the front of their head is usually easier. You want to flip their ear inside out so that you can hold it, so that you can see right down into that ear canal. And then you just really gently put the nozzle in, give it a squeeze. Now I'm not going to squeeze any into Az's ear because he doesn't need it applied. And then you take it out, you grab the cart, the big thick cartilage piece of the ear and just give it a really good rub. And when you've got ear meds in there, you'll hear it kind of slushing around a little bit. And then you let them go. A lot of them will shake their heads afterwards. Um, it's usually a good idea to give them a second to shake their heads before you go into the second ear. Um, because otherwise um, they'll get real antsy and it, the second ear is quite hard to do. So giving them a few seconds to do that is, is a good idea.